What's up everyone? Nick from the Karate Playbook here and today we're going to go over five of my favorite Kumite blitzing combinations. I've had a lot of requests for just some more Kumite videos, especially on how to string together some good blitzes. So that's what we're going to go through today. Now I know some of you guys like uh, straight to the point videos. Straight to the point, Kieran. Other of you uh, like the little bit more detail, a little bit more explanation. Tell us everything. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'm going to go into some detail, but I'll also put timestamps down in the description. That way, if you just want to jump to the next one, you can. But if you want a little bit more detail on how to do each of these and how maybe to set it up and get it to land a little bit more successfully, make sure you watch all the way through. That way you don't miss any of the details. But we do have those in the description if you want them. Now, before we jump into the actual blitzes, I want to say one more thing that we've had a lot of requests for, and that is Kumite reviews. So we used to do this on the channel a little while ago. I'm not sure why I got away from it. Uh, we had a lot of people have a lot of um, good feedback and a lot of success from it. So uh, if you are interested in having your Kumite, your sparring video, reviewed here on the channel, I'm going to put a link down in the description where you can send me your um, like a YouTube video or a Google Drive, some way of getting that video over to me and let me know which fighter you are and I'm gonna give you some tips, ways that you might be able to improve and hopefully help you out. So that's something if you want to, just head down there and fill that out. But let's get into the Kumite combos. All right, blitz number one is one of my all time favorites and it's one of the ones that you can use from beginner all the way up to advanced. And it's pretty simple. All we're gonna do is from a normal relaxed stance, I'm gonna throw a traditional jab reverse punch, our bread and butter, our day to day combo. Just throwing this here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my hip follow through. So a lot of you might throw jab reverse punch, back leg round kick, and that's a great combo, but we're gonna add in a third punch instead. So I'm gonna throw one, two, let this hip fly through, and then throw our third punch, which would be on our, uh, what used to be our front hand. So it's gonna be one, two, slide through, and punch. Now, for a little bit more detail on that, if you're trying this out, one of the things that we see is that we will one, two, and we'll pull this hand back really far. So hopefully from a better angle here, one, two, and you'll see this hand come all the way back to throw your third one. And that's just wasting a lot of time and a lot of distance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw one, two, and I'm only gonna pull this back a short ways. So I'm gonna go one, two, and then keep this right here as I slide forward to punch. So from your angle, it's gonna look, instead of one, two, where you see all this opening here, and this hand is really far away from you, before I punch, I'm gonna leave it there, one, two, I can still block if I need to, and then it's closer to throw that punch. So. Uh, like one of the previous videos, we talked about deceptive speed, which quite often is just throwing it from closer than what it appears to be. Now, what we'll see is a lot of people will jab, reverse punch, and then stop, and then slide through and punch. And that's not a combination anymore, that's just two punches and then one punch. So we wanna make it three fluid combos, so there's no point where I'm stopping. All right, now, last thing about this one is, if you want, you can use this rear hand instead of as a punch, you can use it to trap their hand and throw the other punch over the top or to the body. But instead of throwing this as a punch, you can grab their hand, push it down, and follow up with your third one. All right, so that brings us on to Kumite Blitz number two, and it's actually kind of just following along those same lines. I call this swimming over. So what I mean by swimming is that our hands are gonna kinda do something like this where it's going over the top, almost like you're swimming, but we're gonna use it to set up our combo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just fake, a little bit of a, what we call on here a pump fake. We're just gonna pump this arm out. I'm not actually throwing a jab. I'm gonna throw this pump fake out, and then this hand, just like in the last one, is going to pull straight down. All right, so I'm gonna go up, down, and then punch. So this one is very similar to the first combo, but the small changes are that I'm going to just lift this hand up. I'm not actually throwing a jab. I'm gonna throw this up and then pull this hand down. So again, it's not gonna be actual punches this time. It's just gonna be fake, pull, and then this one will go right over the top. And you can throw this from any position 
in your slide. So I can throw this here or here or here, depending on how far away the person is or if they're backing up. Now, something cool with this one is as you're pressing this hand down, let this hand pull you if they're trying to pull their arm back. So one way or another, your other arm stays just as far away, no matter if they leave their arm there or they pull back, because they're gonna pull you in and close the gap for you. So I'm gonna throw one little fake, pull down, and then just swim over the top. Just keep swimming. And this is a great one to use, especially if you get their hand kind of reacting to your punches. As soon as you twitch that hand, they're gonna respond. You pull their hand down and follow up. All right, so blitz number three is for people that are kickers, but uh, it doesn't actually include a kick. It just makes the person perceive a kick. So all I'm gonna do is all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a really big knee pump. All right, so kind of like I'm gonna throw a lead leg round kick, lead leg side kick. I'm just gonna pump this knee up and let my bottom foot slide forward. So as I go here, I don't wanna rock back. I actually wanna pick this up and let my bottom foot slide. So one of the ways we trained this growing up is our instructor had us put a piece of paper under our foot and we just had to slide it forward. That way you're not jumping as you go. But what I'll do is I'll pick this foot up, let my foot slide and then land with a jab reverse punch in whichever way you need to. So a lot of combinations shouldn't be definitive. It shouldn't be, you're gonna do this and then every time you're gonna throw jab reverse punch because there's no situation that works every time. If there was, we'd only need one technique and it'd be pretty boring. So when we go here, one, two, three, or we could go one, two, three, and you can mix in some of these blitzes that we're talking about and just uh, I guess pre-frame your technique with this little bit of a knee pump. And this is really good if you've caught them with a kick or at least tried to catch them with a kick. So we're gonna pump, bring our hands over the top. Again, pump, bring your hands uh, in whatever combo you want. Now, a cool little detail with this one is as you're going, this is one that even for advanced belts, this will help you get a little bit of higher scoring percentage with this is as I go, not all the time do I go straight in with this knee. Quite often, if you watch my bottom foot, it's gonna slide a little bit from here over this way by a couple inches. In a, in a fight game, you only need a couple inches in any direction because that's as big as their hand is. So if you can move a little bit, you gain that advantage, you gain that edge of being at that good angle. So as I go, I'm gonna pick this knee up, let this foot slide forward and off to the side. And you'll notice my center line, as I set down, is a little bit pushed off to the side. Now, as I punch, I'm punching off of their shoulder instead of through their hand. So this is a really good way to set up your technique, pump, just that little change, and then follow up around their guard instead of trying to go through it. All right, so number four, and this is actually for some of you that like the hook kick, we're gonna add this in. Now you'll notice a lot of these are kind of variations on the other, and that's really one of the things that I kind of base my whole fight game around is it's better to be extremely versatile with a few techniques than set in stone with a whole bunch of different ones. So if I can throw jab, but I can only throw it straight in, I throw a reverse punch, but I can only throw it straight in, and all my techniques are very locked as far as how I can do them, I'm gonna be very limited, right? I want my technique to be kind of like a Swiss army knife. I want it to be able to do a whole bunch of different things depending on what I need it to do. So we're gonna be using a very similar combination. We're gonna be doing the one, two, three, just like we did, but we're gonna mix it up slightly. Now, what I'm gonna do, one, two, and instead of sliding forward, we're gonna break a rule here and we're gonna throw kind of a, a weird wild punch. So I'm gonna throw one, two, and I'm gonna step off to the side and throw a punch that's kind of off at this weird angle. No, it's not a good traditional punch, but yes, it does work because their eyes are locked on this forward movement and I'm stepping off to the side here. All right, so if I'm doing the first one where I go one, two, three, and then I go one, two, three. 
their eyes have to adjust to the technique and then they'll notice the, the little shift off to the side. But by then, hopefully it's too late. Now, what I'm gonna do, one, two, slide off, punch. My hips are going off to the side and this leads us to a beautiful position to throw a good Ura Mawashigiri or, round, or a hook kick, rather. But you can throw a round kick. One, two, slide off, boom. And that is one that is devastating. If you catch them with that, um, they're gonna remember you for a little while. Uh, like we like to say, if you hit them with that, they stay hit because you're moving your entire body off and you get a really solid kick. Uh, you'll see this uh, going to the legs a lot, this little step off a lot in uh, MMA and Muay Thai. They'll, uh, they'll shift off, so we kind of take that and use it to our advantage with this combo. All right, last but definitely not least, number five. Now we're gonna use a little bit of a sweep. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. This one, we're going to kind of break the rule again, where normally if I wanna use my back leg, I'm gonna use my rear hand to kind of get that leg going. So if I wanna throw a back leg round kick, I wouldn't throw jab back leg round kick because my hips are kind of opposing each other. If I'm gonna throw one, two, three, it's a little bit smoother, a little bit easier. So uh, that's the general rule, so let's break it. We're gonna throw a jab and then a little ice cream scoop sort of sweep. It's just gonna touch with the bottom of my foot, just like this. So I'm gonna raise this hand up, again, more like a pump fake than an actual jab, but I'm gonna step in, keep my hips back, and touch. So I'm stepping not quite toe to toe with them, but I'm gonna cover a little bit of distance, touch on their ankle, and now it does not matter if that foot moves or not. We just have to adjust accordingly. So if I go one, two, and that foot flies over to the side, I'm gonna go straight in with my follow-up combination, all right? If it doesn't move and my foot kind of bounces off, it's gonna pull me off to the side and I follow up with my combination anyway. So from here, as I lift one, two, my hip is primed and ready to twist into this punch. If I did it the other way, the general rule of going one, two, sweep, now I can't punch across my body and it just doesn't work as well. So I'm gonna go one, or pump fake one, and then this leg goes here. So see how my hips are facing off to the side? Now I can rotate, and again, if you want to, you can catch that angle and catch them a little bit off guard because you're moving to the side. So going again, one, two, three, and it's gonna be a really smooth combination. So kind of run through all of them really fast. We had a basic one, two, step through and punch. We had swimming over the top where we're gonna kind of pump, pull down, and then go this way. That one was one of my favorites. I do that one all of the time. Third one, we had the knee pump. Pick this up, boom, boom, and then sliding through. Make sure with that one, you don't do an extra step. You don't wanna get caught with a counter as you go in. Fourth one, we're gonna do that step off hook kick. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. This punch is kind of coming off my shoulder. I'm stepping off to my open side. This way, boom, and then we can throw hook kick, side kick, round kick. You can also do a sweep from there where you pull their foot out and then follow up. That one will usually pull them and kind of open them this way. And then we have the final one, the fifth one, with a sweep where I'm gonna do a pump fake up, rear leg tap, and then follow up with my punch. Keep in mind with that sweep, try to keep your pinky toe on the floor or at least very close. If it comes up, you're gonna wind up catching them in the calf. And if you go higher, you can injure them, you can hurt their knee. But if you catch them in the calf, quite often it's not gonna really do much. All right, so it won't really get their attention as much as if you hit down by their foot, because that's easier to move. Higher success rate of actually moving their foot. All right, so that is all five. Those are my favorites. Let us know which ones are yours. Tell us your favorite combos. Listen down below. You might help somebody else find something that they like. But remember, put in your Kumite reviews so we can check them out and give you some helpful pointers and just kind of show the world how each person can improve. Something I teach you might help somebody else get to their next level as well. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome time training. See you in the next video. Peace.